Hi, I'm Shane O'Donnell, and this is what I've learned in the BBA Compass course. The first thing we talked about is surviving and succeeding in the business school. This is really important for me because I've never really had a good system on how to keep organized, but I've always found it really important. Right now, I pretty much just let myself get into some sort of routine where I do everything at the same time every day, which is good until I run into something random and then I tend to miss it. One thing that we did that was really helpful was making an activity log, which allowed us to see where we are wasting time in our day. One goal I have is to create one hour of study time every single day next semester. The way I'm going to do this is by taking an activity log for one week for every day and finding where I'm wasting time and where I can fit in that study time. Another topic we talked about was academic and career planning, and this was especially helpful to me because I just switched to a finance major and I'm not really sure what I can do with that or what I need to do to get where I want. One of the resources that was helpful was the career fair because we got to put ourselves in a very professional environment with a lot of companies and we got to learn that you can see what kind of company you're going to work for by the recorder that you talk to. Another helpful resource are the advisors. Along with the DARS report, you can see what classes you need and talking with your advisors, they can help you figure out what classes you're going to need to take for the next semester. One of my goals that I have is to create a plan for the last two semesters at the business school and how I'm going to do that is talk with an advisor, figure out what classes I need and have them help me plan out my full schedule for the next two semesters so when I have to sign up for classes I'll have it already done. We talked a lot about professional communication and since I sent a lot of emails this semester it was really helpful to learn all of the email etiquette. Another tool we developed was LinkedIn, which is really helpful for networking and developing your resume. My LinkedIn isn't quite complete yet, so my goal for over winter break is to complete my LinkedIn and to start making connections with it. The last thing we talked about was self-assessment and self-awareness. Now, I don't necessarily agree with all the things that uh, we learned for this, especially with the Strengths Finder book. I don't think that just because you're naturally good at something means that's what you should work towards just because you can get the maximal output from it. I think that if you aren't motivated to do that thing that you're good at, then you're actually not going to be the best at it. I also think that our strengths are highly environment based. From one environment to another, our strengths can be very different. Two of my strengths were adaptability and planning, and I think these are pretty opposite types of strengths. Now, when I'm driving, I don't think I'm very adaptable. I like to have a plan and know exactly where I'm going, otherwise I'm not quite comfortable. So I'm more of a planner when I'm driving. When I'm teaching at my karate school, I'm a lot more adaptable because if there's a problem that we run into, something that we need to take care of, I'm able to just change plans and do what's necessary to get what we need done. Seeing that I have two different strengths that are quite opposite shows that strengths are highly environment-based and in one environment, your strengths can work there, but in another, a different strength can work. So one of my goals for the rest of the, uh, my college career is to figure out what types of work environments my strengths are useful in and figure out if I have different strengths for different environments. Now, I'm going to leave you guys with one of my strengths.